<clears throat> we see Grant's hand. He's got a reg ice. That's a pretty good starter. He's got a B drill to go on the bench too. Uh, I don't think B drill is going to be very good in this matchup, so that's probably going to be a dead card. You mainly was running that for the dark teams, which are often made. We got a handshake B drill starter. Okay. I guess because Ninja Boy. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. Um, Otherwise, I don't really understand the B drill starting. All right. So Grant starting off. Well, Reggie Ice is also his, like, number one there, right? So if he starts Maybe he wants to keep it alive. Top. Yeah. I guess he wants to keep it alive. <clears throat> what do you get when you enter these tournaments? Uh, everyone that is in top eight gets a cash prize. They get a, the playmats that you see there, and they also get an invite to the ARG Invitation on Orlando, Florida that's coming up in December. So it's a bigger tournament where you get to play for $1,000. This one is for $400. Usually they, they split as soon as they make it into top eight and everyone splits money. But um, we have some savages in the top eight here that did not want to split. So we are playing it out, people. We are going for blood. Okay, so he ultra balls away two energy right away to get out the Shaman, and basically I think Grant's just going to do everything he possibly can to get out the turn one Vile Bloom. Yeah, he's got the Oddish in hand, so he's definitely going fishing. It's kind of a big loss, losing two energies, but I guess once he gets up the one Regex, he doesn't really need any more energies. Although he does have to watch out for that Magirna, because Magirna can definitely break through, which I'm sure Chip is really hoping against everything else. Wait, is this expanded format? No, this is standard format, and they now have the cards from the Evolution set, so this is the up-to-date standard format. Everything is Yu-Gi-Oh fam. Yeah, well, you know, we're, we're trying. And, uh, you know, just pretend like they don't actually have life points. Or maybe we'll start moving life points, who knows? Boom is, uh, no, maybe the XS reprint is a problem with something you have to be seen, so it is much, very much, or sorry, for books. Okay, so he's got the Gloom. He has Vioplume already, but yeah, it looks like... Really strong Although I'm not sure what his follow-up here is. He's got, he's got an N. Oh, he's, he's got the, uh, he's got the Rainbow. He does have the N and he does have a Rainbow, so it looks like... Oh my gosh, and he was even talking about this too. He literally said that I hope I can get my first turn one Vioplume. And then he actually got it. Drawn hot. This is a pretty good time to draw hot. That's extremely fortunate. So, a Ooh, turn one X. I'm trying to figure out what he would actually Ultra Ball here for, though. Because he can't Ultra Ball for the Hoopa, he just played Hex. Well, I guess he could Ultra Ball for the Hoopa and then wait a turn. Yeah, he could give some because he's not going to get He has a Sycamore. That is a Float Stone. I think that's a Float Stone. Yeah, we Can we get the Oh, yeah. Or all the Deckers. Give us all the power. Okay. So he's just looking through his deck, making all the counts. I think he put the hoop up to the top left. So I, I'm, I think he's actually going to go for it. Alright, we got deck list here, so we can actually give you full counts now. Oh, we got you their names up there? Uh, I didn't put them up yet. Oh, it's well, it's well. Do uh, we know their names? Yeah. Grant Manley is on the left. Shimmer. Is it Richie with an H? Yeah. That is a very poorly drawn H. Shit on you. <laughs> Alright, and then save it? Yes. Boom, okay. well, easy. Alright. I'm gonna go raise this camera a little bit. Okay. Right, it looks like so check on the fish. Floodstone So did he get the hoop? No, uh, he got for hoop for shame. Okay, got a shame. Well, he does also have the sycamore, so it looks like he's just trying to get as much card draw as he can. Grant is still setting up here, and he's setting up another gloom or otter. I guess he's probably doing. Oh, he's got he playing okay, okay. Either way, to speak very bluntly, Chip is not looking so hot in this first game. 
the turn one vile plume with an attacking regis coming out is absolutely brutal. There's like he has to draw almost perfectly throughout the rest of this game to make sure that he's still in. And th I don't even know. It actually does he play the Jirachi? I don't think he actually plays the Jirachi. No, he does not play a Jirachi, so he actually doesn't even have that for discard one one which could be relevant late, but he's got to survive. So we got another Hex coming down. He, yeah, we got another Hex coming down, and... Or no, is he just stating that he played the Hex? Okay. That would have been one other thing we could have done the previous turn, but then we would have potentially some sick of more to try to get Versus Seeker to get Hex to take the Versus Seeker like that, and maybe some Hex back in his hand again, but either way, that is an efficient shot. Mm-hmm. Pokemon Sun and Moon Hype. I'm not sure how that's relevant to this at all, the Saber King, but honestly, Pokemon Sun for life. <laughs> uh, Either way, he's got the Manaphy, so he does have the Fear Train, too. Once, oh, Hex, okay. once Hex is off. So it looks like it's back to Chip, and he is very apprehensive. No, he's just going for it. He's just discarding it all. Get out of here. That's good. So at least he's going to be doing things, but it, no DC. No DC. He also has a beautiful new art Rattata, which does absolutely nothing, but shout out to the Evolution set for bringing back all the nostalgia. It really is. It's, so he's benching the Rattata. It looks like he's going to hoop, but he's probably going to grab... Is that a float stone or a spirit link? I no, think it's a float stone. stone. Okay, so he actually I don't even I don't even know if he's gonna grab the mega. He's just gonna grab the mega. Well, he proved me wrong. <laughs> so two Ray and a Mega. He doesn't even have the other one, so looks like he's grabbing something else instead of the second ray. Uh, no, he did discard. He discarded a mega. I don't think he discarded. So it's kinda awkward here, it's like he could grab the shaman, but it's then one less card draw for the shaman he already has in his hand, so it looks like he's just gonna go with the one shaman he has. The more card draw for that. Either way, he really needs to hit a DC here, and I think he's probably just gonna pass the turn and Mega Ball. Okay. Oh, he's starting to set up one on the bench, actually. Wow. Okay, so. He's now gonna have two Rayquazas that are attacking. Oh, he's just Mega Balls on the bench. Gotcha. So, Grant has a Sycamore in hand if he wants to play it. He also has a DCE. I think he's going to start attaching the DCE to Shaman so that he can eventually Ninja Boy it away and grab something else. Yeah. One and thing, then he's just going to Sycamore. One thing about Chip that is working in his favor a little bit is that he does have play with time unless he's just not going to be taking fast knockouts. That is all the problems that we really sort of taking fast and damage kind of set up for time. It's actually a little um, strange. No, he doesn't. I was just checking to make sure Chip doesn't play a Pokemon Ranger. I was, I was actually wondering why he didn't just retreat and just straight up start attacking with a Regex. He could have attached the energy that he just attached a Shaman, though, you know? Oh, I can't actually... Okay, so I've got the Twitch chat. Oh, yeah, God, so, okay. The yeah, he attached the DC to the Shaman okay. instead of to the Beedrill to retreat. And I guess he's trying to set up a little more, but I feel like he should probably be going for speed more than anything. Because yeah, the more turns he gets chipped, the more so Yeah. Do what? Um, we kind of like to have it for match, but if you, what are you doing? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Jim, the ARG master, just took her necklace. We're going to improvise, people. Don't worry. We'll prevail. We'll, we'll make it. We already know the big things. We know that Chip doesn't play a Pokemon Ranger. We know that he has a Hex Maniac that's already in the discard piles that he can't get back now because of the Fire Plume that's out. And we know that 
What else do we know about Chip? We know that he does not play the Jirachi, which is another big thing. That's mainly the three the three things we need to know about Chip, because this is an unfortunate matchup for him when a Vile Plum comes out. He needs... And he does have the Raticate down, um, which can be extremely relevant if you can get a couple of more special energies to Grant's discard. I know there's at least one. Yeah, because Grant discarded the rainbow at the beginning. Um, Sylvan Sage Ooh. Koya, uh, a guy named Blair, I think. I don't know who the guy is. I played Yu-Gi-Oh! a long time ago. Um, but yeah, some Blair something or other one that you give it. So, Chip has now uh, gotten into the front seat of the car. He is uh, he's in the driver's seat and has taken the knockout on the B drill. It looks like he's gonna knock. He's gonna try and knock out the Raticate. How much HP does the Raticate have? Sixty. It's cute. Oh, that is dead. Mm -hmm. That is a dead rat. That was a good, was smart as a player, because he knows what they're going to do. Yeah. And it is also the only out that can kill Red Dice. So Chip's looking nice in there yeah. to get around this. I think the only way that Chip is going to find a way to win here is he needs to somehow hit double Lysander into killing Shaman and killing that is not a good thing to forget then. Because <laughs> he only gets one shot, basically. Well, he only gets one shot. I think he's actually just going to have to license up a Vileplume install. That's his only out. Well, he could bop it. Oh, I guess he could kill it too, yeah. One, th one thing that I realized from playing this matchup, it seems like whenever you kill their Vileplume, they 100% of the time have another Vileplume in hand. And we'll just play it right back down. Thank you, Grant. Um, they do get 50 minutes for this, and it's best of three. You get the start clock at the level five minutes, so there's some minutes in the matchup, so... Mm -hmm. No, he plays two Lysander. Okay. I apologize. All right, well, he, he still has a shot. Vileplume is really just taking control. Grant also plays to my side, so he knows the option there. Yes. And with Chip's only out being a one Olympia, which he actually he does have in Oh, is it? I thought it was in his hand right there. Yeah, he discarded. Oh, that's, oh, what is that? It's a hex. He got it back, I guess. Um, he does not play two. He plays two. He hex. plays two. Plays two oh, oh, we should have no gosh. All right, well. I'm a liar. He plays two hex. So that's about the real. So I'm oh, trying to figure out what he's gonna do though. Yeah. I think he's probably just gonna try to set himself up in his deck as much as he can. There is definitely a Lysander in there, and he's getting a back key. All right, Grant showing us his hand. Thank you, Grant. Thank you for that. Okay. He actually has a pretty decent hand, and Grant is now reading the Maggie Yerna. Yeah, no, the Maggie Yerna is going to do one, two, one, two, three. Oh, it is a knockout. Three. It is a straight knockout. This is 20 times in Reggie Ice's week. Yeah. It is a um, knockout. He's got three. That's going to be choosing this. That's actually big. Yeah. That's really big. I think he's going to do a two of them. Um, and then it can't does, kill him, though, right? Yerna has 90. Which so he can survive. It's a two shot. So he is huge. Wow. Literally, that, that one card just swings the whole matchup. He can actually just kill both Regis yeah, with yeah, the one Maggie or not. So we have a trainer mail, we have a fail. So you didn't want anything. I thought I saw the Lysander in there, I guess he didn't want it. Looking through the discard piles. <clears throat> Right now, if he has the energy, I think he's probably going to retreat to the baby Maggie and take a knockout here. Alright, he's chucking via Seekers around. Oh, he's... Well, we just left. Yeah, he's got to get him out of his hand now before the Vileplume comes back into effect. The, yeah, the evolution cards and the Magierna no, were guys, they're all, they're all legal. yeah they were on the same day yeah, so legal. they are technically legal for this tournament they actually became legal this past Friday so two days ago
This Magiar is actually going to be big. So Grant luckily has an N in his hand, and under Vileplume Lock, it's going to be really hard for Chris or Chip to actually find his Magiar again. So he has to find the Magiar in energy. Austin, it is legal for Fort Wayne. <laughs> he'll figure it out okay. after the lag. <laughs> after the lag, he'll figure it out. Got a little bit of a delay. All right, Chip's checking through his discard pile. He still actually has a big shot in this game, literally just because of that Magirna. That's crazy. All right, so he's drawing his hand. He has the energy and he has a Shaman. There's no Skyfield out though, so if he plays the Shaman, it's gonna take up his last bench spot. That is November 18th was the Friday, so that is correct. That's his release date. That means it's not legal in the tournament since it's free next week. Is it? Alright, well, everyone has lied to me then. Yeah, I agree. I concur. Everyone has lied to me. Ed, or it didn't happen. Send me a, send me a, um, send me something on Facebook with a picture of that. Yeah, I'm gonna need proof. You guys are lying to us. Quit it. Trigger. Hide your PC just for price. This is not a CPU. They usually, in these tournaments, split the top eight, but like we mentioned before, we have some savages in the top eight here who are saying they don't want to split the money and they would rather play it out for the prizes. First place would get $400, second place $200, and then third and fourth $100, five through eight $50, and it was a $20 admission. He, does, he has a Shaman also, so I think he's trying to thin his hand so he can try and draw into that Magierna again, but the only problem is that if he does the energy, he doesn't have it anymore. So he has the one energy on the Mega Ray. He can retreat. I think he might just Sycamore not attach an energy and just straight up go for the Magierna. Oh, it does. Okay. Lysander. Alright, he's Lysandering up. Lysandering up the Shaman. He's gonna take two free prizes. Which is kind of important because that means Chip's not down to two prices. Though. Grant does have the end in his hand though, so this is about to get messy. Gloom comes down. Oddish, I hope he doesn't play that ultra ball. Don't do that. Don't play that. Grant. Don't stop it. <laughs> you better not do it. He's you better uh, not do it, okay? <laughs> I will yell to them. <laughs> I will call him out. That's where our filter goes off. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so right now for the prize count, it's Chip only needs to take two more prizes. Grant needs to take five. So Grant is setting up really slow, but it's kind of like a lock deck. Once he ends him to about two cards or something like that, he just hopes that Chip's going to draw dead and he can resistance Blizzard 38 million times until Chip is dead. That is Chip's first Lysander play. He does have there it. it and he just flashes it. End of two, oh, giving the Lysander in hand. That's a game. Uh, it's actually... I. Alright, they're friends, but I would not have shown that to him. No. Because he can totally just retreat to the draw chip. Paralysis oh, we paralyzed him! Oh, we got there. Wow. What a big play. That was huge. Yeah. And you know the funny thing is? If he hadn't shown him the Lysander, he literally oh, would just yeah, resistance yeah, flipped. Yeah. Chip. Chip. Chip, you fool. Uh, and again. <laughs> and again, to drop the Lysander back down. Oh my god. Chip, why? Why would you do that? Part of it too is just because Grant loses his mind when he and somebody down to like mine too and they get the Lysander off the top, so Chip probably did really funny. Chip did it just to be just, funny uh, and now he's paying for it. Oh my yeah. gosh. That is so brutal. Oh man, that's <laughs> so <laughs> TFT. <brutal. laughs> Everybody in the chat's called it out too, man. For anyone wondering, that is why you never flash your cards to people. Even if they're friends, you gotta savage a friend sometimes. Don't that's, show them anything. That's some Yu Gi Oh play right there. Alright, so he's more. discarding the Olympia. Oh, the Olympia? Wait. I could have sworn I saw Olympia get the discard earlier. No, that was, I think that was the first or second Hex Maniac. They look exactly the same. And I'm almost positive he just sycamore into seven dead cards. I think he actually just drew like five, five trainers, a stadium, and a supporter. Your PC, it's 
age group for Monster Senior Tour. <coughs> I think they actually just changed it or something. It was 10 and under, and then it's 11 to 15, and then 16 is on this Masters. So this is the Masters age division, which is anything from 16 years old and higher. Okay, so Chip is starting. This is basically how the game starts to go against Grant's deck. Chip is just going to have a bunch of people who are basically in hospital beds about to die because they have so much damage on them. And Chip is literally going to just keep trying to retreat and survive as long as possible while Grant is just continually doing, continuously doing 70. And Chip is just praying that he draws into the Magierna and the energy. He now has the stadium in hand so he can bump it and he can play down a 6 Pokemon which would be the Magierna. I guess he's trying to decide whether he wants to do it now. If he does do it now, we know he's going to get punished because Grant has the Forest of Giant Plants in his hand. Oh, and then retreat and then a Stardust. Okay. Do a ton of damage there, discarding the energy. And it's really hard for Chip to actually find energies. I think he got the Sycamore. Yeah. He has so many trainers in his hand. Yes, Squeaky, this is Ryan Sablehouse. I miss you, Squeaky. A hard squeaky. So he has the one energy to retreat. He's, I guess he's trying to decide whether he wants to retreat. I know squeaky better be in Georgia. Oh yeah, dude. So he's retreating, attacking with a shaman. 30 damage, or no damage because of the stardust, and then he's going to send up somebody. I actually don't know who he should send up here. There's, I, I think there's actually no good answer. If he sends up the Mega Ray with the Flowstone, it's going to die. He sends up the shaman. Okay, so I guess he's just gonna keep trying to just, just continuously sky loop until he. I think he actually just might stall with it and just keep doing 30 damage at a time until he draws into the Magirna energy. Yeah, one of the things I have to be really careful with is that he doesn't pick up the shaman as well. He doesn't have to know he's going to actually take a knock and play and if he picks the place up there. Yep. So Grant's just gonna make an easy retreat. Jirachi did his job. Jirachi's back to the bench. Regis is coming up, doing 70 damage. And it also threatens Chip if he ever lays down a DC on something to start getting him set up. That DC could just be discarded. I think he just draw a hoop. He got it. Alright, so he's got a DC from the Sky Return he just did. Oh, he has a Magierna. He's gonna Sycamore. And he might actually just Sycamore and then just straight up send up the Magnirna. I don't know if he's going to though. No, uh, why? That's. I mean, Grant can't do that. That's. So the Brickwaza with the Flowstone might be better. Just, just to act. I mean, let it get knocked out. At this point, it doesn't really matter. I guess he's just hoping that the Magnirna is going to take the last two prize cards. <coughs> November 18th release date. A pick was sent. And he did. He just sent up the right here. He just straight up sent up the right here. Is it? Yeah, launched him a great tattoo. Alright, guys, so that Magirna is not a new So I guess it's just an ARG special you guys get to see it in action. I didn't know. See, I actually agree with you. After thinking about it for a second, he, I don't think he actually just sent up the right here. Just send up the float stones, Red Jackson just let it get knocked out, but Magirna is just going to take a straight 70 shot here. And then you don't have a lot of red can kill twice. Yeah. If you left it with no damage, you could take two knockouts. So I don't know what he just did. Oh, he... <laughs> he blizzarded, or ice beamed again, ice beamed. That's my favorite. Yeah. I guess it doesn't... Well, it doesn't really matter, so you might as well try and paralyze him first. Yeah, I think that's definitely a misplay, bringing him up. We'll see if it punishes him. I mean, now he's got the 30, so now he can get knocked out by a resistance blizzard. But I guess Chip is just thinking, okay, all I need to do is eventually just get a mega race set up with a Lysander. The other thing, too, is, is now he's, he's forced himself into having to attack That's like one of his best attackers, and he is literally just saying, you know what, I don't want this, I don't want to swing the game with one attack. Unless he's out of the No, he has the metal. He has the metal in hand. 
Alright, then I don't understand. I'm, I'm not really sure. He is sacrificing his what? I guess they passed. And then energy oh, by that's Cinder. Why I did it. Wow. Just to... Oh, wait, you need one more Pokemon. There you go. Okay. Okay. That's so, so much riskier, though. And N just blows that plan up for Chip right away. And Grant plays 4 N, so he definitely had. He was basically just airing him, saying, all right, you've got it, you've got it. Huh. No, Grant does not have, like, he doesn't have, like, three cards in his deck. He actually had a pretty large deck, like, I mean, it was around, like, ten cards left. Yeah, he probably had some legit damage. He had a pretty sizable game, too. Yeah, he actually just didn't have an inner thing. This was all a pro-bait by Chip Ritchie, and he pro-baited the knockout. He's like, you know what, I don't even need my best attacker against you. Kill it, I dare you, and then he just... Took a knockout. Yeah, dude. He just, 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 I mean, just bop that mana feet. He's just staring at it, you know? Just getting the salt shaker out, like seasoning his food before he eats it. Of course, having said that, that would never would have happened if he did with Chip had flashed at the ice. Yeah, it dude. Oh my god, Chip would have actually won like 10 minutes ago, but. I'd say it's style points. I'm telling you, the, the kids here are savages, dude. They're savages. You guys aren't here, you don't know. People, are, they're like, oh, we want to tie, we want to tie, like three or four people in top eight. Everyone else is just like, I'm playing it out. Money. We got savages here. Mm -hmm. All right, they're drawing the new hands. Ship needs to take one more game and what I thought was an unfortunate matchup, but it actually seems good with him now that he has a mag gear. Well, as long as he double lights double 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 in here. Yes. That helps a lot. Mm-hmm. And it looks like uh, one of the matchups in top eight got done, I believe. Blaine it was the Blaine. lost. I think he's getting his prizes right now. Blaine is up there getting his prizes. Which makes sense because he was also playing against a pretty poor matchup in which he was playing the the same 60 Dark Ride Tina Garbodor deck that um, did good at Orlando. Uh, he was playing against that deck except they had a deck list error and the two Garbodors were taken out. Camacolon brings up a really interesting point. If Grant could have done for Ninja Blade, he could have Ninja Blade and that came out. Um, a position meaning he should probably have enough money to be able to take a knockout. Yeah. <coughs> Either way, we should probably get back into this game. You're right, you're right. Alright, so... Grant's going Grant's first. Out. He's got the uh, Red Eyes start this time, mm -hmm. which is not sure that really is going to matter too much. He really wants to get his game his hands are flying. Oh my god. Alright, so that was a uh, terrible trainer mail. I don't know who filled that mailbox up, but that was not a good trainer mail. <laughs> um, he does have some trainers and supporters going on in his hand that I saw. He does. He's still, he's, 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 still. he's got a Manaphy. Okay, so he's got one more to bench. Oh, he's got three <laughs> trainer <laughs> mail. Alright, so he at least hit something. I think two Ninja Boy. Two Ninja Boy. <laughs> two ninja boy. <laughs> he needs... <laughs> he flipped it so fast. He flipped it so fast. Yeah. Grant's playing with some speed right now, boys. Right, he's got two sycamores in hand. Speed Yeah. <laughs> he's playing. He's got. He's got two sycamores in hand. So he is gonna try and get out this. Uh, he's five plume. He needs the plume, and he needs an energy. Uh, I don't see any pieces of plume. In that hand. Oh no, I see vial. I got the vial plume. A Glaceon and a Magierna. He's got a Glaceon and a Magierna. Magierna's. He's trying to figure out how many I don't think the Magierna's gonna help him this much, but I think he's trying to sh he's trying to shame him for three. Uh, he's deciding between shaming for three, shaming for two, shaming for two, and it did not pay off. We'll have to see if that third card. <laughs> we'll have to see if that third card is a glue. If it is. We can all just post hashtag feels bad man in the chat. Alright, for your treat, shaman, passing it up. This is Chip's time right now. Chip's got a big This is this is one hundred percent Chip's time. Yeah, Chip's got a If you're discarding a trainer's mail with your first ultra ball, that is a hint to your opponent to be terrified. Uh, Chip has the link in his hand. 
Yeah, Hooper's is definitely in there. Chips put them off. Um, I don't think he has the sky feet yet, though. So we should have to in the hoopa and he almost got a rotato. <laughs> <laughs> now you went for it dude. Is that right at the top? You can see it. Alright so you got the shaman, Mega Ray. Probably another baby ray. Yeah. Oh just shaman and mega ray. I don't know if he flash three. God these kids are they're too fast for me. <laughs> this is like partially also awesome. yeah. Yeah, for everyone wondering, uh, Ray does take quite a while to get set up. Yeah, he just got the two. Oh, there we go. The baby Maggie Erna is out right away. Blaine definitely uh, took the left hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think this matchup is actually going to go a lot differently now that he has, he immediately has the Maggie Erna down. Yeah, it's huge. That's but, the big thing too is that since the shaman's up in the active position, technically he doesn't have enough Pokemon for Regis. If he lies in with the Regis, if the shaman would go to the bench, then he can knock it out. He could technically knock out the Regis, and if he gets that, that is so huge. I highly doubt he's going to get it. I mean, I think he's going to be there, so. No, he couldn't even attack with Magierna, though, because he doesn't play any switch cards. So he would actually just have to do it with Mega Ray. So he could just do it with Mega Ray. Then he's got Magierna for later. If he actually decides to use it this time. He's <clears throat> a lot of energies. He doesn't have the Sky Field, though, so his turn might end well. He's tempted to say huge hand. He's doing it. That's, a, that's actually not as brutal as I thought it was going to be. And the ray turn continues, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Yeah, it's about to get big. Yeah, camouflage on the bomb. Check, uh, check this bitch out. Um, Oh, I that! It's official street date. Yeah, I think so. I think it's right around that date. It's either, it's either legal for the thing that we get. So it'll be legal for San Jose for sure. Yes. Wait. Yes. <laughs> Well, Chip, well, Chip does his 90 minute turn. Yeah, we got a lot of time here. Oh, he does play with Brox. Okay. Yes. It's basically a double super rod. Ah, it is legal for the international. Okay. So it is legit for one of them. Hey. <clears throat> I think it is legal for San Jose, too. I think that's December 17th. So it should be legal for that. He's got a float stone on the Maggie here now. Just in case he pulls enough tack, he's <laughs> yeah, no energy. <laughs> now he's got a backup plan. He still can't hit this, uh, what is it called? Mega Turbo. He still can't hit the Mega Turbo. He's really trying to get this knockout so he can start taking control of this game. It's actually funny. I don't know if I would take the knockout. If you take the knockout, the Shaman's gone. You can't knock out Red Ice anymore. Mm -hmm. I actually don't know if you should take the knockout here. Because you need that colorless Pokemon. I don't think you take the knockout. Yeah, but Grant's gonna have I mean, I guess you can take the knockout and just try and go for the easy prize exchange, but it's your Magierna now is not as effective as it could be. I think we got a little bit of lag going on. Okay. We are back. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, yes. So, yeah, he's passing. Oh, he hit the ultra ball. Grant hit it. So, it looks like he so is going that, that next card we were talking about was It was! Oh, huge. he should have benched the Maggie here. Yeah. That's so funny. This game is chock full of surprises where people just are showing their opponents blatantly what they missed up on. 
Oh man. For the record. Don't do this. Even if you do, <laughs> and they have to drive it. Yes. Don't do this. Oh wow, that's so funny. Alright, so he looks like he's gonna ultra ball here. Just gonna beg you and that uh, just cursed him. And probably the. Okay, he's gonna live sander. Gonna get out the balloon. Probably play the end and down. Actually, you could just sick him or wave in, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, so it's it's either he's either gonna sick him or in here. He's just playing the end. Yeah, might as well keep the sick him. And you really don't have any knowledge of ship's hand that much, so. And uh, according to what we saw, ship had energy and shaman and no other guy, but he did have the energy to make sure that he could attack this guy. Too. This is kind of what he needed to do, though. It is. He needed to explode on the first turn and make sure he got set up. And as you can see from this field, he is completely set up. He's got the two Mega Ray, he's got the Hoopa he used with Floatstone to make sure he doesn't get trapped. The Magna Urna with the Floatstone in case he accidentally sends it up again. And then the Shaman and Rattata. Or, right here, if Chip has a Lysander too, Lysander would be juicy. He takes out the Red Jays, takes out his only energy, and then Grant actually has to just wait two turns to do something. Lysander's Ooh, there it was. I actually think that's just going to win Chip the game. That's unbelievably brutal. <laughs> if he has what? Oh, dude, that would be so bro. All right, I know he's got a Mega Turbo. No, he does not have a second Lysander. Chip's not that savage. Yeah, literally, this is just not looking good for Grant. He's going to have to start. Right now, he's going to start setting up this Glaceon, which has only 10 damage on it, so it technically can't be knocked out unless Chip pulls off some crazy wombo combo and gets the uh, Skyfield with another Pokemon. Is it weak to metal? Mm -hmm. Entire... The entire thing is just getting blown up by these metal guys. <laughs> He's trying to prove himself. He's like, I know I'm not legal yet, but this is what you guys are missing out on. What product comes with this Magna Yerna? It's in a, a lunch box. It is in a lunch box. I, it comes with yeah. a, the Magna It comes with a version <laughs> And a Mega Gengar. Ooh, there you the go. The Mega Gengars are actually worth like fifteen dollars on eBay. <coughs> so, and the lunchbox I think is like twenty five dollars. So it's, it's well worth it. Well worth it. Yeah, for this tournament, um, all eight of them would have had to take the split, but there were actually, I think there were three people that did not want to take the split and wanted to play it out. Ironically, two of them played. Ironically, two of them played. Yeah, yes, that is correct. Yeah. Okay, so Grant, Grant is. is Really, really solid. Yeah. Um, and he's in a really good position right now. So it looks like oh, he's going okay. through. He's going for the last Okay. But I see, I don't get it here, though, because he's going to hit that. He's going to hit it for he's, 70. Then he's protected by Crystal. Not from the Magirna. He's protected from the Magirna. Yeah, I guess that, that would, but The Magirna is going to get like, what, like 80 damage, I guess. That's not too big. See what Chip has in his hand. We know he does have the two Hex Maniacs, so if he has Hex Maniac along with some playable cards, this could be a good time for him. Oh, I see he does have the Radicate in hand too. I don't know how many energy are in the discard pile, but that could get messy. Yeah, that had the rainbow. And I'm not sure if Grant discarded anything. So alright, he's playing the hex. He does have via seeker to get stuff back. Mega Turbo. He's gonna get set up here. Probably gonna be a seeker for the Lysander. Maybe via seeker for Hexagon. Probably Lysander. Though. <clears throat> Maybe he'll mix it up. Maybe get something crazy like an N or something. Who knows? <laughs> Highly doubt it, but. I think there's one. Maybe two. But he can set up for next turn. Chip shot, 
not going to get that second review. So. He's slinging these cards down, dropping it in. I believe inning four. Four and six. When we first sat down, I'm not gonna lie, I really thought this was gonna be a clean sweep right away. Mm -hmm. I did not know that, and they know each other, right? Oh yeah, they, they, yeah, they, we played together all the time. Okay, so I honestly, I don't know, but it, it seems like Chip was very ready for this. He was. He um, was very ready for this matchup. Well, and so, point of note, right, what's up, what's the rest of the field from the ARG is a lot of Mega Guardian. Mm -hmm. A lot of Mega Guardians. There was so, so much Mega that, Guardian. This and might be Mega Guardian, a great matchup for Mega Guardian anyway, he just would have fight it in that direction. Yep. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It's coming back. Hopefully. Damn. It does that sometimes. We just have to we just have to love and accept it. And then have two maker rays to attack. Oh, he's hitting a vile plume. It's actually funny though, I think Grand is completely prepared for this. I think he is too. I think I would have taken a knockout on the. Oh, he actually doesn't have a knockout, he's 120. This is weird. He just has the water to retreat. I don't understand this. Yeah. Well, it's, Glaceon's for evolution, so I can attack, I think. You're right. You're absolutely right. Oh, he could have taken the last hand on the... He could have used his first attack on the start of the energy. Yeah. But you can still do it. So he's still... Oh, no, it's an effect by the effects. See, I was thinking he was gonna just straight knock out the Reg Ice. And just not deal with that. Either knock out the Reg Ice or just take the free two prizes on the... Uh, free spreads on the bed. Yeah, I did. Hey, Russ, is that better? <clears throat> okay, so he's sitting up. Oh, there, yep. He's coming up and he is discarding the DCE. I'm not sure how many DCEs are gone for him, and he's going to end. He has to hit it off of these five cards. If Grant misses the DCE here, I'm actually just perfectly fine calling the game. I'm perfectly fine calling game because I think it's going to be over. He does not hit one shot. Grant, Grant needs to hit the DC here. He is so done. And it's all oh, right. DC, second card. Easy bucket. Takes the knockout. Wow, they're going fast. All right, Chip's excited. He's got something. Yeah, no, nope. Russ, I can't do anything about it. I'll just have to pump water. Alright, he's looking through. They're checking fast. Usually when people start playing faster, I assume they're about to do something crazy. And then Chip just kind of let me down. Alright, so he's... Alright, dude. He's got a Dragonite. He's gonna... Oh, he's gonna get back the Magierna. He's getting back the Magierna. and gonna take a knockout on him. Oh, it, can it? Yeah, it, it can because yeah, the yep, rainbow. Yep. Because the rainbow. It is literally an exact knockout on the on. That is brutal. He has an energy. He's got an energy. He's got a Skyfish, dude, too. And a Sycamore. All right, there's three, all whiffs. So he's got the Sycamore here, he's got another seven. I don't know how many cards are in his deck, he actually might have running well on cards, but I know that he, there's not like any energy in there, so he's going to hit it. His deck is actually kind of low. That is true. Some last hander stall tactics come out for Dan. He still does have the Vile Bloom down. Three. That's a big boy. That's a big, big fella. Chip does play exactly four medals, so that counts. So if he's if he's used four medals so far, then all he's got is just the DCs left. All right, so I don't see I don't see four I don't see any medals in his discard pile. So the medals from here are just five and a half minutes left. Okay, so either way, it, Chip's coming out with a win or they're coming out with a tie. Which that's an American set. Oh yeah. Which I <laughs> no, we aren't, so that's what literally just go to Chip. Because you only count the games that would be done, right? So Chip would just win. 
we split? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I think. I don't know, somebody go back and watch the time because I'm Jason because that's gonna the last time I remember that. I know, right? All right, but, well, either way, it's 50 minutes and they have about five minutes left, so this is going to end pretty soon. They both play very fast, though, but there's kind of thing going on. Chip has an Olympia in his hand. He's just straight, all right, they're just straight passing. They're going really fast. Chip is literally just waiting for an energy to, to take the knockout. No, it's not, he can't even take the knockout on the Resist, actually. He's just, I think he's waiting for the Lysander to yeah. knock out the Glaceon. But he's got to the Glaceon and Red. This If they keep playing this fast, then yes. Grant has to take two more prizes. They have no idea which prizes. Yeah, they don't know. But Grant actually has to take two more prizes. And he's going so oh he's gonna deck out! That was the last card in his deck. I think he does have one. I believe. I think he only plays one. Two, okay. He does have the end. <laughs> For real, dude! He's playing so many tech cards! I think Chip's playing pretty fast because they're friends. So Chip is being a good, good fella. He's being a good guy. Alright, so Chip is... It's kind of weird, though, because Chip is like... He's blazing. He's being a good guy, but he's like very quickly... Trying to trying to quote unquote stall out the game. <laughs> he is very quickly trying to stall. All right, so fresh. Does anybody? So bonus points. Do you know what the first attack of the game is? No. It heals like forty damage. <laughs> okay. But that didn't matter. All right. So either way, now now if time even if time even gets called, Grant's gonna have enough time. If it is the four prize rule, Grant's right. gonna have enough time to take the prize cards and take game two. And then it would go to Sudden Death, which is also very bad for Grant. I don't think he would win Sudden Death. Yep. <laughs> Chip's deck is much faster, so... So it looks like the other top games are also finishing, I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, I have a 1-1 one -one thing going on with less than four minutes to go. What do we do? I think it. Oh well, they're they're done oh, now. They just finished. They just finished. Yeah, but that's not who I was talking oh, about. Here. Oh, the one one thing with. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's if you take if you take four prize cards, the game technically counts. So if it's. Okay. Are, 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 are it's one to one. Game three. So they're just running game three. Okay, with four minutes left. And time's been called. No. Time has yeah. not been called. So it's first prize wins. Okay. First prize wins. Thank you. Because I've never done that before. Yeah. <laughs> we're good. All right. Sorry, guys, we were answering your question real quick. It was uh, about another top eight match that's going on right now. Apparently, they're going into, uh, time's about to get called, going into game three, they're just starting the game, and it's going to go down to first place. Which is about. convenient, because so is this one. Yeah, I think that's what this one's going to be, too. It's going to be first prize. Now, in the first prize, he gets to the first, which means he gets to go through his deck and have that 85 minute ray turn that we talked about before. Yep. One of the bad things about Mega Ray, though, is that it really does draw dead sometimes. He has to either have an Ultra Ball or a Trainer's Mail or something. And I don't see that. I think he has a Sycamore, though. I think he's going to DC and a Sycamore. Yep, there's the DC. And I think he's got. He's a straight Mega Ball. Oh, he's And Sycamore. Okay, yeah, Chip's gonna take the first prize. This poor Oddish has no clue what's about to hit him right now. <laughs> this Oddish is like... This Oddish is like, you know what, man? We got this. And then he just looks over, and it's just like a Mega Rayquaza, and he's like, you know what, man? I just want to go home. I don't want to be a part of this. So he's passing. He's got the material, too. That is the first time I think we've seen UEX in grade 10, uh, 16 game 1. It's not really so he's got the he's got the ultra ball off the trainer's mill. Now what really needs to happen is he needs to somehow find a way to get this otters out of the active position, or he needs to evolve it. He's got ninja boy, but that's a really simple Yeah. So ultra ball on the way to the beach one, yeah. Looking through his deck, apparently. Okay, he's getting shape. And then he'll probably just attach the DCE to the red dice, and he might actually just straight ninja boy. Yeah. Jirachi. Oh, what a savage! Oh, <laughs> oh boy! 
Yeah, he ninja plays into the Jirachi. I keep forgetting he plays that. He just uh, he, he didn't really use it that much. I keep forgetting he plays that. I mean, do we have the deck list now? Okay, we do have him. I just didn't have him in front of me. That is a... Uh, no, it's relevant that it was not prized because it was only one. That is such a savage play, but um, also he did do the Jirachi play and he did discard the energy, so it's going to kind of prolong it a little bit, but we also have to remember that Grant has zero pieces of a Vileplume line out right now. So he doesn't have anything to slow down Chip, and Chip is actually just about to go bananas. Alright, he's actually just going to take it slow, he's just going to attach and then end, which Grant is very happy with because he did not have a very good hand, he was going to have to buy, uh, Sycamore away one of his Vileplumes. Yeah, he was the big one in the last turn. <laughs> So that was a good play by Grant, though. He, he really needed that, because that is the only way that he's actually going to have a shot on this. I'm pretty sure that was the only way he just straight up moved. Yeah, because he was, he was just about to be blocked. Like, bad. Yeah, Chip manually attached to the wall. Let's see. We are either going to be so we're definitely not going to see anything that's happening right here. So we got the trainer mail fail. The trainer mail fail. Double click, double click. <laughs> We're going to see if Chip goes for his patented floatstone on the Magierna play to make sure that he doesn't accidentally send it up. He's got the Shaman, so he's probably going to play it down. He does need it. Yeah, he's going to play it down. And Rayquaza then Shaman for four. And a special charge. All right, everybody get comfy. <laughs> It was that the Vileplume, I wasn't sure, but it was the Odisha Vileplume. I saw two grass, guys. There is a bloom. There's two blooms. Two yeah, blooms. Double, one. double bloom. We both got it wrong, though. I, yeah. I thought, I thought, I thought, <laughs> you thought it was Vileplume. <laughs> we got the gloom right, though. We did. Good job. Yeah, good job. God, Riska, the deck lists have been scanned in by Jim. Likely they're posted somewhere within the DRG Circuit Series. And um, if you have any questions, too, we do have the deck list right in front of us. So if you have a question, like an easy question, not, hey, what's their deck list? If you have an easy question, we can just uh, tell you about the decks right now. We, I, we've already kind of covered over what Chip's major tech cards for this matchup are, and they are definitely paying off for Chip because he is looking in a very dominant position right now. Since he attached that mental energy, the Jirachi actually just can't do anything. It's just kind of sitting there and doing a massive 10 damage. Alright, so Chip is going for Hoopa. It looks like two Mega Rays and a Shaman. So he might. He's just gonna evolve one, probably Shaman, and then he might just end the turn with another Mega Evolution if he doesn't have a game. Either way, it's, it's looking very grim for uh, Grant. It's, it's not looking very good. He's getting the DC back in the special charge. You might as well buy a Plus Dine out. You can play all your trainer cards and also getting a DC is really good. Because he needs that to take the knockout for the first prize wins. Sam 2636. Uh, they are likely posted already to the Circuit Series on Facebook. If you go to the Pokemon Circuit Series pages, they are probably going to go. Usually scans as a PDF, they always scan. So it looks like he's gonna play the Shaman. Draw four, three. Got another Ultra Ball. And everybody get more comfy. Uh, that was super relevant for uh, the Magirna on the bench, too. That is true. Right now, I'm just trying to think, though, what would actually what would Grant actually do in his next turn? In, like, an ideal position. I guess he would have to Ninja Boy again to get out, like, a Reg Ice or a Glacier. He has a Ninja Boy now. If he tops into a Rainbow, a Rainbow Energy. Because right now, he has to prevent himself from being knocked out, otherwise he's going to lose. Alright, so we got a Sycamore, but I think he already has, like, alright. God, he flashes it so fast, dude. He's just like... You don't even get to see it, dude. It's a blur. His cards are awesome. Just, I can't just torn off. He asked me could he borrow the rest of your deck. Just go back bent in half. No. Alright, 
right, what is ARG? ARG is Altered Reality Gaming. It is a tournament circuit that's going on right now that has like Yu-Gi-Oh! Vanguard, I think, and also Pokemon. Pokemon, Pokemon Vanguard, Forcible, Yu-Gi-Oh! And uh, right now, I think right now Yu-Gi-Oh! just got done or yeah, something. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, finished right before we started talking for this two-day event for Yu-Gi-Oh! We had about 20, 30, 30 players or something. And right now we are in the Pokemon Top 8, and this is going to be the Top 8. Then we're also going to have the Top 4 match for you in the Finals. We're still looking for updates on who's won the other Top 8 matches. Right now we know that Blaine lost. He was playing Mega Ray, and he lost to Kelly, who was playing Dark Ray, Tina, Garb, without Garb now. still sitting down with cards out, so Alex versus Anthony is I, I believe that's the other match that's going on. And Nathan is definitely done. I, no. Nathan's eating. Yeah, Nathan's eating and drinking, and he was playing against Evan. So, I'm not sure if... I, I think that matchup is done. Otherwise, they are very relaxed for their matchup. They're just eating food. Grant's got the force of giant plants. He's got to do something crazy, like, because this, this rate boss is about to smack something. Like, I don't know if he just needs to retreat to the thing with the highest amount of HP, or what, but he is... No, guys, it's like a leap. He's in a bad position. There were about uh, 40 to 50 people here today. Yeah. Okay, so Grant's hitting for another huge 10 damage hit to the Rayquaza. And I think if there's a sudden death right now, it's literally just going to be the next prize win. So I think Chip only needs to just find more wins. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're just getting more than Nathan on, so. Nathan beats Evan. And that was uh, the Rayquaza, the Mega Rayquaza going over the Dark Right Tina Guard, which I actually think is a, I don't think it's that bad of a matchup for Rayquaza. People keep telling me it's a bad matchup for Rayquaza. Just because of the Giratina and the uh, Parallel City, but... How did Alex do? There's Alex still playing. Alex, Alex and Nimmons are still playing right now. I think the game's still going on, and I believe they're going into first prize wins. Which is Yeveltal against Barty. So. <clears throat> yeah, noisy background we just had. Uh, we're having announcements coming over right now, so we're trying to keep it going here. Um, or Nathan did the raid with the Yeveltal. So I'm being on Chip attached another metal energy to this Rayquaza, and he is just trying to set up a three metal energy Rayquaza to avoid the Stardust. Nathan did play the DNTX, yes, which helps us move. Is Chip in the Mega No, he does not. Right I know he has the metal energy in hand, and he has a DC, but. So I think Chips is going to pass here. Pass yeah. back to Grant. Another Where is this tournament located right now? We're in Charlotte, North Carolina. Actually, there is a way Grant can take a knockout. Yeah. Um, attach a rainbow to Karachi. No, he can't get the chance. I was going to say he can get the chance. Yeah, he can't ninja boy unless he had the same turn. That might be Yeah, I'm thinking of like some weird way that he can try and win here, like Ninja Boy into a Mew, and then use Mew to copy. Um, but, okay, so he's attaching energy, he's gonna take a knock at you, so I'm assuming they're still in the best the, the, the three turns. They have to be. Grant's sending up the DCE. Top X is Shaman, Blakey shows it off. <laughs> Sending up the Shaman, and I'm I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a knockout here. I think this is just a joke. I think the game. I believe the, the game is over. I mean, unless they're on a different. 
They have to be done. They have to be done. The, the judge came over to us with about five minutes left, and that was a very long time. So they have to be in their three turns. And Grant also doesn't look very happy. So it looks like he is very sad very sadly ultra balling away. I think he has nothing. And he's scooping up. Jolteon was prized. I think he would be at the Jolteon next. Can't lie, Sandra. Good news. His tech was really shiny. They were really big in that. The two... The, the two... Lysander, the two Hex Maniac, the two and even Hex. The Raticate did the work with the Crunch. The Raticate Crunch, and the Raticate also was like a big Lysander target and just took the Crunch. So it's And although the Magierna didn't really do anything, it was such a big threat then. Uh, Grant had to also oh, focus that too. Oh, the you, ice. You, you treat it with the, with the, the ice cream play. Yeah. The ice cream play and the putting the Magierna out. And the, oh, and the blatantly flashing <laughs> license. Oh my gosh. I still can't get over that. And then he got punished for it immediately. <laughs> with the ice cream. Grant, if 